Right, hello everybody, welcome to Blitz Pit Group C, match number one. Um, unfortunately I was late joining the game, and uh, we've got first round, well, Gorilla Metzo's on his way to co-commentate. Um, first round, we've got... Try versus Rego, it looks like Try Try's receiving. This is Try, he's receiving and he's eliminated one of Rego's players. So uh, Try was a lot of people's picks to win this group. There are it's crazy, there's three lizard men in the whole of Blitz Pit and they're all in the same group. Um, so probably two of them will make it to the uh, finals. And Genie, who's got the the sole Chaos Dwarves in this in this group, I imagine, will uh, not qualify. It's a bit like NAF, except there's a few more skills. Um, so one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. What the fuck is Try done? I I didn't know Try had taken a stand firm Crocs. Um, so yeah, he was allowed to double and took sure hands, which I quite like. He was allowed to stack a few skills, so he stacked. Guard, oh, fucking guard, obviously. But what the hell, man? Taken, taken. Stand firm instead of guard. I do not like that. I do not like that at all. Maybe it's his answer to like Wood Elves. Um, but yikes! I am not a fan of stand firm over guard. I'm also not a fan of stacking block on it either. Like that seems a lot to put your double in. Um, I can see the tack block tackle for a game against elves or something, but it's a bit lame, isn't it? So neither team's gone really what I'd want. I'd want I'd want Tri's team, but with guard instead of stand firm is, is what I would have taken as lizards. Hello, hello, hello. Gorilla Mezzo. Are you Gorilla Mezzo yet, or are you just Skuro? <laughs> I'm just Skuro because I'm eating my lunch. I don't think we should do. <laughs> Gorilla and Jim, though, for this, because we don't want to be bickering the entire... Okay, yeah, it's just Skuro, then. <laughs> yeah, just uh, let, let me make you the right size. There you go. I mean, you can still be Gorilla Mezzo in the, in the commentary thing or whatever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Alright, let me... Um, I, gotta, I gotta open up Blood Bowl. Has the oh, game started I could, I could just stream it to you if you want. Or you could do it with... Uh, you could open uh, the corner. Oh. Um, yeah, I mean... Yeah, I could do either way. I guess, um, I guess just stream it to me. Yeah, that's, uh, I didn't think of doing that until, uh, you know, we, we were doing the uh, wrestling. I could just do it this way, isn't it? Yeah, we'll see, see. I mean, the, the only thing is sometimes it's easier for Blood Bowl to commentate if you can control the screen as yeah. to what you're looking at. Yeah. But then at least I can refer to whatever things you're referring to with people. Yeah, can you see, like, where I, where my cursor is and stuff? Can you, can you see that? You should be able to, shouldn't you? you should be able to see where my cursor is. Um, so, so I could say, like, go up this yeah, way, yeah. and you'd know yeah, what I, I meant. So, yeah, yeah, so that helps then, I guess. I think it's a thousand shit. cash prizes. I don't think it's, like, a big one thousand to the winner. I think it's, uh, I think it's, like, you know, a thousand worth. So, like, distributed, um, you know, something. So interesting that uh, Try is really advancing here, three. I mean, turn three, and he's already super far forward. He does not have a guard on the back, so he, he is allowing a 1D. Unless he just completely seals that up, but he's got to uh, seal it up with the Crocs, hasn't he? Oops. This is his only option. Also, it's not even it's not even that good against the skinks, is it? Because it just makes them do an extra stunty dodge to one D. So it's it's a weird old game, lizard men mirrors. I don't understand them at all. I'll be honest with you. I've I've played the odd bit of lizard men, but I I did not understand lizard men mirrors. Was that his blitz wasted? Yep. Classic Crocs. He could have. He could have hit a skink. The skinks were mightily exposed there, weren't they? Uh, Rego not caring about that. I've got a feeling that Rego is a uh, a Xbox or a PlayStation coach. I don't know why. 
don't know why I would think such a horrible thing of a human being, but I've got a feeling. <laughs> I was going to say, <laughs> why do you think so so little of the man? <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I think that. Like, I could be wrong. But um, that's just what I that's just what I think. I don't know why I think that. Right, maybe he's got a similar name to somebody who plays PlayStation or whatever. I don't Jim wrong. All right, well that's okay then. Good news for him, I guess. <laughs> Means he might be competent at Blood Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> so uh yeah it looks like sorry i'm just getting caught up now it looks like try is just trying to trying to uh uh anarian him more or less yeah it was with real Lizard. far forward wasn't it i don't know why he went so far forward there allowing himself to get <laughs> you know tackle stand, tackle tail yeah really weird I guess this is a good little sandwich here, isn't it? So that he, he'll surf him if he uh, stands up. And I guess his idea was always to run back the next turn and then take this hit if he stood up. But um, it's a little bit tricky now, isn't it, with the guard and the... Uh... Yeah, you got to deal with... The, I mean, there's tackle on the ball and there's a tail on the ball. It's the one time tail might matter. Yeah, but he, I mean, he has got 2D here into another 2D, so he, he, can, he can get rid of that and then run back, I guess. I guess... Just, How does he 2D that crux? He's got guard, guard, uh, two Oh, he's guards. got a bunch of guard down there. Yeah, he's got a bunch of guard down there. Two guards. Um, oh, no, that's still only a 1D, though, isn't it? Because of his own guard. Yeah, 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 yeah. Mm. He could always risk his own, uh, his own crux blitz. <laughs> That'll never go wrong. He could blitz this skink on three dice and then get the extra one in there, but then that still doesn't work, does it? No. Interesting. You don't want to one D the guy with block, do you? He could just go for a. Oh, he can go for the blitz in the. T no, then you want to get. No, no. So he could use his skinks to two D the blitz in the top and chain chain his skink away. That's probably the play, isn't it? Nope. He's just going for. He's going to one D. Just going for the one D. Yeah, that was pretty risky. I, mean, I guess he gets another one D chance at him. But... Yeah. Oh, look at that. Oh, and he gets him on the second one. Try would have, as Try would normally say, that's pretty disgusting. <laughs> yeah, and he's still relegated to a 1D without block from the skink. So, like, this was, a, I think, a bit of a rush move from Try going forward, but um, I'm sure he had his reasons. No, he's just going for the 3 plus dodge away. I think punching him would have been better. Better fail state, wasn't it? I mean, not really. Maybe not, actually. <laughs> maybe not. <laughs> But it would have meant that that guy would have been knocked over or whatever instead of having to make two three pluses. Gets away without the skink dying. That's pretty disgusting. <laughs> right. Made several dodges from tackle in one turn. Didn't lose his skink. It's unbelievable, isn't it? I've never seen anything like it in my entire life. Uh. And then the crocs not even standing up. Oh, lucker dog try. Oh shit, I forgot to eat a banana earlier. <laughs> is that, uh, oh, is that is that going to be a problem for you? Do you have like a, <laughs> a potassium deficiency? Oh. Oh. All right, I should have eaten it at the time. Right, we're just going to have to listen to you deep throating it now, huh? <laughs> no, no, I wasn't deep throating it. I was really good at eating it. <laughs> right, I'm going to get a cup of tea. Be right back. Hello, everybody. Who oh, I said hello? Oh. Hello, I haven't said hello to. Oh, he gets that tackle on the ball again. <laughs> All right. Well, if you are just tuning in, it's uh, me, Gorilla Metso, and Jimmy Fantastic covering whatever group this is for Blitz Pit. We've got Regor versus Trifific, just better known as Inspector Try. Try with a deep push early on, falling back now, but he's had tackle on that ball. Two turns in a row, probably an easier clear this time than last uh, last uh, round where he had to uh, had to clear the ball with uh, two one Ds just to get the tail off and still ended up dodging away from tackle.
Hello, Muppet. All right, so Try has tackle on the ball to deal with, but uh, should be relatively easy for him uh, to contend with on this one. And then he might have open midfield if he can do it efficiently enough. Oh, don't forget the broccoli, Foxamania. It's chicken and broccoli. <laughs> I didn't know. I didn't know he had added sweet potato. That's big news. It is, isn't it? Yeah, it's quite big news. Adding the sweet potato. I do like me some sweet potatoes. But I have removed the. What, what's the time going? Is this a book? Is just try just completely. Uh, no, try was just thinking thinking his turn through. I think. He's got to act fast now, hasn't he? Into his uh, brilliant. Oh, I'm sure he. I'm sure he did, Bezel. He is that insecure. <laughs> um, yes, I'll make it. I'll make it life size, uh, Bezel. Oh no, the one and nine rerolls oh. it. One and eighty-one. Oh. They both have blocked, but now he's stuck on that tackle yet again. <laughs> and now this could be trouble. <laughs> <laughs> Oh dear, yeah, he's in a bit of trouble, isn't he? He's in a bit of a pickle. Oh, he gets the surf for, yep. No, can't feel too bad surfing a skink. I guess that means if he does uh, fail this dodge, there's not really much to steal the ball from him in the immediate vicinity. Yeah. If he, if he manages to make the dodge, he oh, And it. There, there it goes. Does he re-roll this? Doesn't oh, he didn't have a re-roll. Oh, that's right. He already re-rolled. Yeah, yeah, the one in nine, and he didn't have this... Uh... Didn't move this last, this last uh, Saurus, which could have moved. But he was running out of time. Mm. Some interesting uh, decisions by Try early on in this one. A little sus. Yeah, he's a, he's a bit sus. <laughs> Maybe he's a bit, you know, out of practice kind of thing, and the uh, the one minute turns are taking a toll on him. Or if I've learned anything from playing Among Us with him, he likes to endear himself to you early on in the game. And then completely fuck you over as soon as he gets the opportunity. <laughs> so maybe he's just endearing himself to Regor right now, trying to lull him into that false sense of security, and then he can yeah. turn it on in the second half. Yeah, I do. I don't like that blitz. I guess the idea was to was to power the uh, seventy five percent power the Crocs, and then get these guys away without them to dodge away from the tail. But I think it was more important to uh, get the tackle around the ball. Maybe? I don't know. He is down two players now, Regal. He won't be used to being down two players on Xbox. <laughs> I don't know why. Why did I think he played on Xbox? I don't know. <laughs> is my category set to Blood Bowl instead of Blood Bowl 2? It's a good question. It is, yeah. I don't know why that is the case. Thank you very much, Dio. I think I am going to just go into the client and watch it. The uh, the low frame rate and quality from the from the Discord is a bit much. All right, fair enough. So I'm just gonna close this. There we go. Let me make this uh, more realistic. There we go. <laughs> We're only joking. It's funny. It's funny. The guy who's getting, uh, you know, made fun of for his height is the one who's more secure about his uh, masculinity and height in this argument. <laughs> I couldn't care less how tall I am. My mom was five foot one. What do you want me to do? <laughs> oh, Okay, eat your vegetables. <laughs> yeah, I was a vegetarian for six years, so... No, oh, my condolences. That was great. I don't know why I went back. I like meat. Actually, I do. I went on a vacation abroad, and I was like, I wanted to try all the all the food 
<laughs> the local food, and I was like, ah, I guess I'll just eat, eat for a while. <laughs> and then I didn't go back. That was pretty lucky from Dry, wasn't it? He? he gets the scatter and catches it on his skink. I mean, if, if he hadn't caught it on the skink, if it had gone to any of these five squares, Rego could have just been away with the ball. Ridiculous. Yeah, yeah, I can, I can add, I can add uh, Fash to this picture. There's Fash. <laughs> 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 looks like he's looks like he's servicing school or that, but I'm get rid of that. <laughs> oh dear. All right. Well, we are definitely attentive and keyed into this game. <laughs> yeah, it's definitely more interesting laughing about. <laughs> no, fucking lizard people. mirror. At least they have different colors on their uh, on their kits. Yeah, <laughs> no, it's, it's horrible that nice. the skin's always blue, isn't it? They yeah. should totally have like fungal <sighs> where the the colors are the the color of the. Like, yeah, like lizard what mirror. the absolute hell were they thinking with that one? Like <laughs> they barely <laughs> wear any uniform. Make their scale make their scales change color. Good lord. Yep. Yeah, that's pretty. That's a pretty basic thing to do, isn't it? Really. Considering you can break the game to do it. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Oh, good. A leaf blower. Turn up. Turn that down. All right, it's fall in New England. There's always a leaf blower going somewhere. Yeah. And what's it like in autumn? <laughs> Just a joke. I mean, it's the same thing. Yeah, I know, but we don't say fall, so it's just... Ah, uh, well... It's a hilarious joke. It's very funny. Yeah. It's a lizard man mirror. <laughs> I mean... <laughs> it I sure fucking know. is. I don't know what to is. say. I don't understand it at all, despite having played loads. Of, of lizard man mirrors over the years <laughs> I've never understood them I've never enjoyed them I've never wanted to play one in my life I never want to play another one in my life I never want to watch another one in my life thanks Gadenik <laughs> folks uh, just uh, this is where the blessings of the one minute turn really come into play here <laughs> yeah <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully we can get through this game without Jimmy completely having a stroke, but uh, we'll see what we can do. Well, uh, having a stroke is what might get me through it, to be honest. <laughs> uh, Mr. Pounce, you are not alone. I'm going to assume most people uh, will agree with you on that. There's some combinations that can be a little bit fun, but lizard on lizard is about as fun as watching two... I almost said two pigs fuck. I don't even know where I was going with that. <laughs> <laughs> and there's some people pay good money for that kind of action, gorilla. <laughs> is, is J5 we're out watching right now? Because I can make a good community reference for him, but I don't think he is. I don't think so. Oh, my. Hilarious guy on guy. Pottery class. <laughs> oh, dude. <laughs> I know, right? The bread mask. That's uh... yeah. Your your former prime minister would have a word with me on that one. Yeah, probably. yeah, he would, wouldn't he? <laughs> yeah, yeah. I can't believe he'll run with that complete ridiculous non-story as if it's just true. <laughs> I mean, it's it's better than most real stories, so why not? <laughs> and the and the terrifying thing is, it's plausible. <laughs> It, like you know, it's it's like people who make ludicrous. It's, in books, fact, then. it's probably more likely that uh, that he did, you know, that he fucked a pig in college or a, a severed pig head or whatever, than you know, acted like a decent human being for four years. I school. mean, for never mind four years, four fucking <laughs> days would be a stretch of <laughs> <in> believability. <laughs> Oh god, <laughs> welcome Pink Sofa! You've come in an awkward time! <laughs> oh 
Oh dear. Speak of the pigs and the bed that laid them. <laughs> oh god, yeah, is, isn't it, Dio? Oh, yeah, this stream is three lizard mirrors in a row because I expect Genie will lose his first match. And then we'll we'll have the winners of the first two matches, which will be the like two lizard man teams. And then we'll have, and then obviously, uh, Genie will probably lose his second match. And then, and then the third match will be will be another lizard man match. So yeah, this is probably three lizard man mirror matches in a row. So. What what did I do to Gedenek that he hates me so much that he first puts me in that group of death in qualifiers <laughs> and gives me this this fucking card to call on a weekend? <laughs> it's pretty ridiculous, isn't it? I wouldn't take any offense if you just left <laughs> Skirol. <laughs> we'll see. We'll see how the games play. Out. <laughs> That's cold blooded. Very good. How are you? <laughs> That's what you can It wasn't me, it was Flicky Flack. <laughs> Flicky Flack made him a zombie. <laughs> not, not, my or, uh, not my or Gorilla's fault. Or Skuro's fault. I don't know, I'm still confused. It's not my or Skuro's fault that he got turned into a zombie. It's fucking blame, blame Flicky Flack. He's the one who fucking broke his neck. Well, Try has uh, found a way to turn install this out. Looks like he is uh, pretty pretty likely to score here. Yeah, I think he got lucky <laughs> there. Fuck <laughs> this one up. <laughs> I think he got pretty lucky. I don't think he just roll any blocks. Genuinely don't. No, think he I know certainly blocks. not. I mean, he's got the re-roll, so it's hard to resist. But like, and he's yeah. got this surf on as well, hasn't he? He has got this surf on. Um, yep. He's got what a two D there to kick it off. Which he does. So now he can uh, bring in this guy and blitz down and then block the... No, no, wait, that was the one doing it, wasn't it? Yeah, he was going to do it. Ah, oh, it didn't work. He had to bring in the guard up top and then blitz him down and then block him down and then block him out so he can't surf. Well, isn't that lame? Doesn't three dice a skink? Interesting. Interesting. He didn't three dice. He could have three dice to skate. I mean, taking all the hits skate. here and not paying off for him on that one. Mm. Yeah, I think I would have hit a skink in that case. I mean, he's got the bench, but. Yeah, I guess that's it then. If he's got the bench, then yeah, go for the Soros to try and impact the match. I didn't realize he'd taken a, a bench. Oh, well, he's got two guys out, so no, I think I'd have, uh, I think I'd have gone for the skink, yeah. He hasn't got much of a bench, has he? Yeah, he's got Ooh, I think my dog's trying to kill the guy with the leaf blur. I'll be right back. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> He just said Licky Penis. Did he really just say Licky Penis, the French guy? I believe French Jim just said Licky Penis. Rather rude. <laughs> Skuro's dogs killing people. Wonderful. Still a better love story than Twilight. All right, he did not kill the guy with the leaf blower, and I meant the man had the leaf blower, not the dog. Yep. That would have been weird. <laughs> Was he struggled. covered in egg? <laughs> no, no, he's good. He's good. Yeah. Maybe it doesn't know, Mr. Pants. Maybe it does, though, who knows? Is he not even going for one turn? It sure doesn't seem like he is, and that would be pretty despicable. Yeah, maybe Rego is a PS4 or Xbox code. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Are we sure Rego isn't an Xbox code? Oh, and he gets the quick snap, too. Can anyone this confirm been... <laughs> why I think Rego is, a quick, is, is, a, is an Xbox code? This is this should have been really easy when this is real yeah. bad not trying for a Yeah, match. it really is. I think he's not gonna try and compensate now. And do it. No, like it's super easy with a quick snap. He's got to with a quick snap. Like it's crazy easy. 
I don't know what he's doing here. <laughs> like what? No, he's got to. What he should do is he should use these last forty seconds to now think about how exactly he's going to do it. But I mean, it's pretty fucking easy, isn't it? No, uh, I guess he can it. still technically do it. Can't oh he? yeah, he can. Yeah, yeah. The the quick snap, even though he didn't set up for it all, the quick snap makes it well doable. One, two, yep. three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Right, so he's hitting there first. I think that's probably a mistake. Him again. I think once you've set up the way he originally set up, everything you're trying to do to do a one turn is a mistake in that yeah. case. Yeah. See, this is why hitting him was a mistake, right? Because if he'd powered there, he could have pushed him there, and then he could have pushed that guy to get the foot. This is just awful. Yeah. Awful regal. Go back to Xbox. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, you can still do it. Just you've just gotta push still it the right way. It. Well done. Yeah. Well oh done. dear. This would be kind of a kind of a travesty. <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't it just? Oh man. Oh my god, come on. Let's move you guys. You can do it. <laughs> oh god. <I> <laughs> It's not gonna be easy. No, he's got the he's got an extra dodge. Didn't move his crocs away, so he can't make an extra blitz or anything. No? Hey, isn't he in blitzed yet? All things. Yeah, he can blitz through. He can blitz through. I oh, know he can't. He can throw. Yeah. <laughs> Get KO. <laughs> Oh, you almost caught it! <laughs> was was he even in the tackle zone at the start? Or not? Yeah, I think he was, wasn't he? I think he was. But that was all. That was all. <laughs> it just felt felt like he wasn't even considering doing a one turn no, until he wasn't. the quick. He definitely there's no way this is a dream of a one turn. That was that's really bad to not try and move a one turn. I'm sorry. I'm sorry, but it's just Definitively bad. Uh, player, don't know if it's nervousness or the minute turns or whatever. I mean, he's used to having, if he's a rebel clan coach, then he's used to having four minutes to work out how to do one turn. So maybe he just thought he'd embarrass himself in one minute. But um, he did anyway. <laughs> is he in your Is he in your clan, Tom Schnitz? Oh, dear. I'm only joking anyway. I'm I'm not gonna be nasty. Uh, PTK and Chugs were a bit mean, I thought, with their commentary, and obviously it is hard in a minute. I know I've done this myself, and it is hard in a minute to do the right things, and it's you shouldn't really criticise people for the two-minute turn, the one-minute turn players. But hey, he's set up to do a one turn now <laughs> by his standards. <laughs> Oh dear. Oh, I know he's not. He doesn't have a skink on the line. Never mind. <laughs> he certainly, be, I mean, he's had the worst of the dice, hasn't he, for sure? These KOs, what, one out of five KO rolls? That's pretty unlucky. And obviously, Tri played offense pretty badly, so. Oh, God, Mr. Pounce. Oh, yeah, he's probably just doing it on purpose, isn't he? He's just going for the draw on purpose. Just to punish Skuro and myself. <laughs> oh man, imagine, imagine Scooter if we get 72 turns of Lizard versus Lizard. Oh man, I sure can, you know, and I tell you, like, <laughs> I'm, uh, I'm one of the, uh, I'm one of the, uh, the sponsors for Blitz Pit, so it's like I would have paid to drive nails through my own dick <laughs> <laughs> for, for a Saturday afternoon. That's, um... <laughs> You know, pretty good times, I think. <laughs> Especially after my awesome qualification runs. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Great non stand firm by uh, Try there, getting an extra block in for uh, Rego, who blocks the wrong way. For some reason. Um, I really hate stand firm because often you don't want to like you know obviously for whatever reason he didn't want to stand firm there try and that's one of the reasons why I don't like stand firm because you know it doesn't you're paying for a skill you might not sometimes use whereas mighty blow you use every time oh baby well unless you can't get a block with him. <laughs> 
Every time. <laughs> Even when you push, you use Mighty Blow. But, but, but Jim, that, that Crocs has Mighty Blow. Yeah, no, but he could have had Guard. Guard works every time, doesn't it? And he's got fucking Stand Firm. I well, don't only, if he's, only if he's in base contact. Well, Stand Firm only works if you're in base contact. <laughs> like, Stand well, Firm. Super, no, that's not true, because you could get blitzed. That's insane. But yeah, well, Guard works if you get blitzed. <laughs> I'm just trolling you, Jim. Jesus I know Christ. it, dick. <laughs> He's fucking taking Stan Firm into the guard. What the actual fuck? Lunatic. Get out of town, Try. Get off my ship. Get off my ship, Try. <laughs> I'm voting him out based on, based on the Stan Firm Crocs. I, so from all of the uh, from all of the strategy guys I've read on the Rebel forums, uh, Stan Firm is a pretty fantastic skill. So. Yeah. It's the best skill, according to them. I don't like inviting the pressure onto the cage here. Try did it before, and now, uh, now Regor has done it. I mean, this is absolutely opening up a gaping hole here, isn't he? Inviting the Crocs Blitz and, and strong pressure onto these skinks. Try, looks like he's not going to bite. Um, and just be boring. Ah, uh, that that croc. Oh, I was I was certain that Crocs was going to stoop it on the ground. <laughs> yeah. Is he just he gonna go right go at the stall? Two more, and he's gonna go there, isn't he? Surely he's gonna go there. Yeah. yeah and bring something down. through. Um, and this is the thing. This did invite this, didn't it? Which I didn't. I didn't like. I have not liked Rego's play, but then also I haven't liked uh, Try's play because Try, Try on his offense was really. Yeah, I mean, it, it, roles reverse. Try put himself uh, accessible to both a tail and a tackle. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He's not the gold standard right now in this matchup. No, and he just got lucky, didn't he, making the removals and the bounce and everything, really. Mighty push roller. Yeah, well, that's okay because you start with stand firm. I just don't like taking stand firm. As a skill. I mean, even though I do it on dwarf and stuff, like I do take stand firm sometimes. It's not terrible by any means, but I think it's the most overrated skill in Blood Bowl. <laughs> there you go. And not just by rebelers either, just by everybody in general. Even though I do play sometimes. <laughs> Guard, on the other hand, probably most underrated skill. <laughs> Despite everybody rating it the highest. I was gonna say, was gonna say I'm pretty sure Guard is as rated, rated effectively. <laughs> no, it's still underrated. <laughs> <laughs> Despite being rated number one by pretty much everybody, it's still underrated. <laughs> a bit like Fat Ronaldo as a footballer. <laughs> Even though everyone regards him as one of the greatest of all time, he's still underrated. <laughs> Relying on the Crocs here to fully show this up. Well, well, in fairness, the true goat of all professional sports was always underrated as well. Tom Brady. <laughs> of all professional Brady. sports now. Oh, he, yeah. can't, uh, great, he can't... The greatest, the greatest professional athlete ever known. Well, he doesn't do the yeah, hardest uh, thing in sports, though, Skuro, does he? Because as we all know, as we all know, could, the hardest thing in all of sports is hitting a baseball. It is the hardest thing in all of sports, but yeah. I bet he could do it. I bet if you went back in his history, he played a little bit of college baseball, Michigan <laughs> University of Michigan. Maybe, maybe you walk on and was like, ah, I think I'm gonna stick with the football. So on a pal, this is just two dice on the ball. Fucking weird. Why did he do that? I just don't understand. Is Rego not very good? Is he an Xbox coach? Are you, are you lying to me, Tom Schnees? Is he, is he an Xbox coach? <laughs> Could you at least give him the PS4 rub? <laughs> nah. <laughs> nah. Nah. Try, tries the PS4 coach in this match. <laughs> oh dear. Tries oh dear. displayed his PS4 pedigree. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pissed off because I've got to commentate on fucking uh, lizards versus lizards, to be honest. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah, it's weird. He moved him away. Like he he he, he had he, and, and oh, he got so lucky. He got so lucky, didn't he? There, that's ridiculous. He had to rely on the Crocs shutting this player down, or he had to uh, leave the skink where it was, and he didn't either, and got away with it. Hitting a baseball is the single hardest thing to do in all of professional sports. Yeah, Stra DK, it's just something Americans say because they like. I it's a, but it's but it's also accurate. So <laughs> <laughs> they just they just love they love to do it. Well, clearly scoring a goal is harder because somebody hits a baseball in every single like multiple times every single baseball match. How many shots? Are, how many shots are there in a uh, in your average soccer game? I don't know, but you get nil nil. In your average baseball game. I don't know, but you get yeah, nil nil. You get nil nil baseball games too. Or, you know, in regular time. Yeah, it's scoring, but they still hit it. <laughs> <laughs> they still hit the ball when they don't get home not, runs. Not, 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 not always well. <laughs> That's okay. Hitting it well yeah, wasn't but, the but definition. By, by that logic, every single kicked ball pass is the same thing. <laughs> if we're just talking about contact with the object... Oh, God, this is going to spiral out of control. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, we're watching fucking lizards versus lizards. <laughs> I'm, I'm happy for anything. Yeah, yeah, fair enough. Let's just all agree that as the American, I get to set the public policy. Yeah, exactly. So. Yeah, as, as an American, you get to decide for the rest of the earth. Yeah, that is exa how it works. Exactly. Whether you like it or not. Yeah, thank that's you. why the only thing fucking everybody else in the world gets to hear is stuff about fucking Trump all the time, non-stop. Hey, we don't want to hear over. about that fucking asshole either. Fuck me. It's like literally the only news on Earth. <laughs> there you go, Bezel. Bezel! <laughs> Did the hour yet? Is that a thing? Is that a thing, or is that just cricketers saying it'll wind up the Yanks? Because I wouldn't, that wouldn't surprise me either. <laughs> le de lizard versus lizard kisser time. Because lizard versus lizard is is nonsensical. At least, at least dwarves versus dwarves, you know what's happening. Like you know, you're like playing blood ball, and you you know you you you're like you're using guard and assists and stuff, and you're not very fast, and there's like there's positioning elements. With this, is just throw layers at each other and see what happens. And I don't even understand how you meant to protect the ball because it can always dodge it and one dice you. And I don't know how you meant to do anything, and I just don't understand it. And I hate it. I hate lizards versus lizards. Stupid. <laughs> it, it, it is. It is Ruzi, and it's probably. <laughs> but you could just kind of copy paste this game for the next two games we're doing in this group because it's going to be all lizards all the time. Most likely. <laughs> Yeah. No. Hello, Ruzi Who. Yeah. Yeah. Did you did you qualify Ruzi Who in the end? Did you finish second in your group? That, I believe that is what I predicted for you, but um, I did not predict Rick <laughs> winning the group. <laughs> but I'm happy. I'm happy that Rick defied my expectations. To be honest, I wanted I wanted Rick to qualify, but I just thought he wouldn't because his level wank. But actually, it turns out if you're all good. Kids left pretty good. <laughs> did Rick end up? Did Rick pass out? Did he get through his group? He won it easily. Yeah, he, he won the final four nil. <laughs> oh my gosh! <laughs> yeah, just, if you roll three plus, you're good. That's it, isn't it? And Davo, Davo got past uh, Gdanik in the end, right? Yeah. Right, so he's in. He got. He, sc out. he scored good. a one turner. He scored a, a one turner. Yeah, no, I saw. I saw the one turner. Yeah. Yeah. And Nick failed to score one turn with three rolls. So. I gotta say, Davo's. There was a lot of conversation about decisions made by Davo in his one turner, but then the one turner we just witnessed just kind of erased any opinion <laughs> I had of Davo's yeah. one turner. So, uh, good job by him. Yeah, yeah, and Ruzi here as well. Probably like it, it's. It's a bit. It is a bit unfair though. The blitz pit, you know, the blitz pit commentary can be a bit unfair because it is. It is kind of you know some high stress and that, isn't it? And you know, people aren't used to playing in one minutes and everything. And you know, it's high stakes, isn't it? And it's all right. He's got an easy punch through into the middle here now. Yep. No, don't don't be hard on yourself, Rosie. Honestly, like this is. 
PTK is actually pretty savage when he commentates on people, but like, you know, he is obviously one of the best in the world, if not the best. So he tends to be harsher. And he was pretty harsh on Devo, probably. <laughs> was he on that one as well? I don't know. I'm sure he was harsh on Devo. Yeah, I'm maybe. Sure yeah, yeah, a little bit. He didn't like the one turn, if I recall. I don't know. Yeah, I'm I thought sure I, I, I thought I thought the commentary in that game was 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 fine, yeah. all things considered. Like I'm sure he would have been harsh on him. He was certainly harsh on him in Rebel when he when he fucked up a one turner and that. It's like he's relying on the Crocs here heavily, isn't it? I would have just blitzed with the Crocs, seeing as you were kind of relying on him to make the cage complete the cage anyway. I would have just made the blitz with the Crocs, then it's three dice with mighty blow on me asking. And then if you fail the blitz, then you don't take this space anyway. Because I think failing the failing to like loaning the blitz and not breaking through is better than breaking through and then rolling a one on the crocs and just I don't I don't I don't think that crocs could have made that blitz and then had one more square so that he wouldn't have been blocking and the I'm path sure he could have done oh uh, yeah yeah you're right actually because he was here one two three yeah, sure. four five yeah yeah he absolutely sure. could. yeah you're right Yeah, brutal at times. Yeah, it, it does tend to be brutal, but then you know that's he is he has got higher standards than uh, <laughs> than pretty much every other human on earth when it comes to blood ball, so you shouldn't take it badly. Sergal tried to build report all the skin skills in the skinks, well that's worse than a fucking sand firm crocs, isn't it? <laughs> Well, in fairness, he probably thought his opponent wasn't going to spin, so... What was the point of <laughs> Brilliant. Indeed, Strat Three die from yeah. Try yeah. does not pay off. No. And with all due respect to uh, Rick, I thought the, the, the Kislev were a good shout for him, actually, because he did get just to leap in, didn't he, and cause problems in the minute turns. And... Uh, if people couldn't deal with it, they couldn't deal with it, and they couldn't deal with it. <laughs> so it's pretty good. Four skink. <laughs> yes. Not basing the Croxy. Is he going to even activate this guy? Might as well, he's not going to lose his guard. <laughs> Le soutien suffira-t-il à prendre le dessus? Il n'a aucune envie de laisser tranquille. That doesn't really help him, does it? Like, yeah, it's a 2D. What he should have done there is, if he was just doing it to kill time, he should have taken the 15 seconds on choosing the block dice and the push direction and everything to work out what he was going to do. Upfield. He's got a block on his crocs, not a problem. Skinks on both sides have been uh, really holding up. Yeah. Well, not so much on Regor's side. He has had two KO'd. Um, yeah, but just KO's. Saurus, kiss a ten. Saurus, the plural of Saurus, is Saurus. But that's a win. That's a win for uh, Try, isn't it? Because that's uh, a, a, it's the worst player on Try's team, really, because he's taken. He's uh, apparently misclicked into stand firm instead of guard. What's Whoa. happening here? Whoa! What? Why? Rego playing for the loss. Interesting strategy <laughs> card. <laughs> Regor feeling pretty uh, bad for us, I guess, and deciding to maybe try and shorten this game a little. Oh bit. my God! One out of seven now. Oh well, I take back what I said about the uh, skinks for Regor. <laughs> one out of seven uh, KO. I don't think I agree with the decision to score there, Jim. How do you feel about it? I don't think it was great, but I can I can see the logic that he might get his KOs back, and then he might be able to, you know, he can he can just. Potato win, can't he? Uh, one day's on the ball every turn and try and win normal time, but I don't like it. <laughs> it no, because a 10. Saurus is a trademark of Games Workshop, meaning a fantasy creature. So if Games Workshop say that the plural is Saurus, the plural is Saurus, and it's also Octopodes. So 
take a long walk off a short pier. <laughs> uh, it, it's, I'm pretty sure it's octopi. Octopods is just a description. No, octopodes. It can be octopodes, and it can be octopuses, and it can be octopi, to be honest. It can be any of them. Octopodes what about octopuses? Could be. Octopodes is yeah, most okay. correct, but um, you can use any of them. <laughs> Octopenis. <laughs> So you call an eight inch. Sorry, pleb. <laughs> it's not Sora. <laughs> I think octopi might actually be the wrong one. But you can so you can say octopuses or octopodes and still be right, but octopi is wrong. That's what it could be. Mm. Well, I you know, I know we got a job here, so I'll, I'll just uh, hit the old Google. <laughs> yeah, that's much more interesting. <laughs> yeah, let's see. What is correct? There are many there are many ways that English manages to trip up its speakers. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> Hang on. The current champion in the battle of troublesome pluralization is octopus, <laughs> which depending on which dictionary is consulted, may be written in three different ways. Octopi, octopuses, or octopodes. Good Such a range of options might prompt even the most patient learner of the language to say what the hell? Come on, English. Get your act together. <laughs> this state of affairs is not so much the fault of the English language as it is of the people who speak it. Wow. <laughs> Merriam-Webster bringing the thunder here. <laughs> <laughs> who have been debating the proper way to pluralize octopus for a very long time. An article from over 140 years ago, Octopus Philology, Philology titled in the clickbait of that era, <laughs> offers three possibilities, admittedly sneering at two of them. <clears throat> and I quote, But as the octopus grew and multiplied, it became necessary to speak of him in the plural, and here a whole host of difficulties arose. Some daring spirits with little Latin and less Greek rushed upon octopi. As for octopuses, a man <laughs> would as soon think of swallowing one as the animals thus described <laughs> as pronounced such a word at a respectable tea table. <laughs> in, <laughs> in, in this condition of affairs, we are glad to know that a few resolute people have begun to talk about octopods, which is, of course, the nearest English approach to the proper plural. That's from the Bradford Observer on the 7th of November, 1873, West Yorkshire, England. <clears throat> Back to Merriam-Webster. Given that most people don't often encounter multiple specimens of this genus of cephalopod mollusks, it is unlikely that you will ever find yourself in sudden need of deciding which plural form is correct. But it is always better to be prepared with your irregular faux classical plurals. Good life advice in general, really. So here's a brief... <laughs> so so here's a brief explanation of your choices. <clears throat> oh, wait a second. I saw my intro match considering the got? behemoth you put me Good up against and how long I lasted. I think I did very well. <laughs> Had some amazing moves that that shit announcer didn't notice. <laughs> I hope you guys are enjoying that. He was that. too I busy adverting for his again. side gig and talking <laughs> himself up. Must be getting a hefty paycheck from that skewer mozzarella scrub. <laughs> Glorious, thank you very much, Physics. Yes, you continue. May I continue? You may continue, good sir. <laughs> Latin endings for Latin endings for Latin words. Octopi appears to be the oldest of the three main plurals, dating back to the early 19th century. The dash I ending comes from the belief that words of Latin origin should have Latin endings in English, while octopus may ultimately be, uh, come from Greek. It had a it had a stay in New Latin before arriving here. <clears throat> this is from uh, the Chicago Daily Tribune, 15th January, 1888. <clears throat> besieged, by, besieged by devilfish. How octopi took possession of schooner. In incident of a voyage in the Banda Sea, an octopus who is injured by a sailor calls upon his companions for help. They respond promptly, and a gang of octopi take class? control and of the deck of the vessel, driving the crew below. 
It is certain that the octopi do attain to a very large size in the Indian seas. And there is nothing improbable in their taking hold of a man and drowning him. Sorry, that one was from the 23rd of August, 1834. Penny Magazine for the Diffusion of Useful Knowledge, London, England. <clears throat> now we'll continue on to English endings for English words. Octopuses, which may rarely also be found rendered octopuses, which is just has an extra S in there, which I can't really pronounce any different. No. <laughs> dates from a slightly, slightly later in the 19th century and is based not so much on a belief as it is on the habit of giving English words English endings. While it may sound peculiar to some, there is nothing incorrect about this formation. When octopus is, is used in a figurative sense, quote, something that resembles an octopus, especially in having many centrally directed branches. This seems to be the preferred plural. <clears throat> now we go to a quote from the Arkansas Gazette, October 20th, 1886, Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> the Standard Oil Company says Louis, the Louisville Courier Journal is one of the great octopuses of time. <laughs> Absorbing, every, I don't think they know what an octopus is. <laughs> <laughs> Absorbing everything that comes within its reach and quite killing off everything in its own line of business in the way of competition. Sorry, that was from the Macon Telegraph, Macon, Georgia, 24th June, 1880. And then also they put 2015 afterwards. So they, they must the have reprinted it. Yeah, he's going to surf the curry here, isn't he? Is he? No, he's not. Well, he maybe. Uh, we've got more important things to attend yes, to. Yes, yes. Sorry, 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 sorry. <clears throat> So. Now back to our Arkansas Gazette quote. He meandered on for 50 minutes in a long rambling tirade, adorned in gloomy forebodings of a time near at hand when he, together with all the other horny-handed sons of toil, <laughs> that's a name for a blood bowl team. <laughs> By the way, his hands were very nice and white. Oh boy, Little Rock, Arkansas. <laughs> <laughs> be enslaved and education denied their children by those octopuses the millionaires <laughs> and finally we come to greek endings for greek words the rarest of the three octopodes came into possession of its ending from the belief some people had that this is a greek word and should have a greek ending and also from the belief that there is no word in which cannot be improved by making it less comprehensible <laughs> <laughs> also, also known as the Jimmy Fantastic preference. <laughs> uh, we now go to a quote from the Northeastern Gazette, Middlesbrough, England, 5th September 1879. It appears that the keeper, whilst engaged in cleaning out the tank occupied by the octopodes, was suddenly seized by the leg. Fortunately, he had sea boots on by the largest of the octopodes, which fastened four of his tentacles round the leg of the boot, and with the other four held firmly onto the rocks forming the back of the tank. And now we go to the Daily Telegraph, London, England, 16th April, 1873. <laughs> there will be no huge tanks filled with mere show monsters, wallowing porpoises and cherub-like turtles and grim octopodes. <laughs> All three of these have been criticized in the past, some more than others. If you're interested in choosing the word that is most likely to be considered correct, and understandable by your audience, you would do well to opt for either octopuses or octopi. Octopodes, it should be noted, takes a slightly different pronunciation than the other two words, placing the emphasis on the second syllable rather than the first. It is more or less, it more or less rhymes appropriately enough with don't say that please. <laughs> And that's the end of our article. I hope we've all learned something today on this uh, 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 this battle of uh, Saurai and um, and uh, Crocs a guy and uh, and uh, Skink guys. Yeah. Oh dear, it's Saurus. It's Saurus because it's made by Games Workshop. It's trademarked by Games Workshop, so it's whatever the fuck they say it is. So. In fact, we've learned nothing. <laughs> We're right yeah. back where we started. Yeah. It's definitely so. It, 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 it's almost like uh, spoken spoken language is just um, 
you know, colloquial and however you want to communicate an idea, if someone else understands what you're saying, it doesn't really matter if it's necessarily right or not. And that's the general argument in, in uh, you know, uh, in preference of using uh, a word like literally to exaggerate a comment. We all understand the difference between something literal and figurative, but you can say something. Yes, absolutely we do. But you can actually say something is literally something else when you mean it's actually figuratively something else because they all understand that you're just, you know, uh, providing emphasis to your words. No, see, that's incorrect. If I say I am literally as hot as the sun right now, you know I'm not believing that I am actually 10 million degrees Fahrenheit or whatever. What if you say you I'm literally I'm 20 my... degrees now? I don't understand what you're saying. What if you say I'm literally 20 degrees now? Are you literally 20 degrees or are you figuratively 20 degrees? I don't know. <laughs> right. Anyway, that ended. Um... Well done, try. <laughs> I'm, I'm amazed that. Uh, so maybe that was honestly. So now I understand. After we did that setup, I understand the stand firm. There are no isn't words. It? Please, please, no more words. The stand words. firm well, really does help against. Like, if you were scared of Woodell's one turning against him, or like anybody one turning, the strength five stand firm is really good, isn't it, to stop the one turner? So to be fair, to be fair, try the, the stand firm. Crocs does make sense in the context of stopping one turns. Um, yeah, Regor didn't play very well, um, but you know. Probably is his first time in Blitz Pit. Maybe he's nervous, whatever. Um, and it is a minute turn, so there you go. Right, so, um, thanks for watching. <laughs> it's so no one, no one because it's no based on watch. dinosaur names. No, no one's going to watch <laughs> it till the end, so. <laughs> and you don't say Tyrannosaurus or Tyrans or a part, you tall. <laughs> you too. Right. It's so oh, right back into it. I think we already I think we cleared this up. Do I have to read another no. random article that no. I Google? Right. Stay fantastic everyone. The end. Cheers gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> <laughs>